mm -hmm. and um, and they exercise as a group. We're our, we keep our classes small, mm -hmm. um, ten patients per class, so that you have that um, opportunity for some individual attention as well as that camaraderie that mm -hmm. the patients have among themselves. And there's a lot of that. Yeah, no, I would imagine mm -hmm. so. Yes. Now, it walk walk me through your. Of it. Cardiac and pulmonary rehab are, are, are designed very similar. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, the dietitian and the social worker as well to meet with our patients. Right. Um, people with lung disease, they may have um, dietary issues as well, overweight or even being underweight. No. Um, you know. Oh, I need that <laughs> No, I don't. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Let me start endorsing yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> That could be a problem for them too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the dietitian can kind of lead them on the right track. Okay. And the same thing with the social worker, we have that available for our patients as well because with a chronic lung disease, they these individuals can't do what they used to could do. You know, just walking to the mailbox is a hard wow. task to do, and it's very easy to get into a depression on state or anxiety. So, um, as well, um, the uh, individuals can meet with the social worker as well. Uh -huh. We as well are a 36 session uh, program. We have to have a physician referral to start the program. Um, we start our program by doing some breathing exercises um, before we get on our equipment and we exercise on our equipment. Um, and like she was saying, it was it's the camaraderie as well. They have yeah. a really good time. They get to know each other, really and good. they learn too that they're they're not alone. No, this. yeah, I would imagine so. I'm not the only one that's short yes. of breath. I'm not yes. the only one that has to wear oxygen. Mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. And I'm uh, that must really make them feel very secure as far as letting their guard down and opening mm -hmm. up because they have they're surrounded by people that. Uh, you know, whenever you're in a situation, there's nothing like having somebody that can understand the oh, yes. situation that you're right. in than, you know, having someone that might really, truly don't understand, so. Oh, absolutely. It is a support group in and of itself. Oh, I bet it is. I mean, it really is. Mm -hmm. um, tremendous amount of camaraderie among mm -hmm. the patients. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, once they finish the program, where, what is their ultimate goal? Of course, you want them to be 100% healthy. Right. But um, is there follow-up after the program? Do or exactly what happens? We after? we do encourage them to get into some type of a maintenance program. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a maintenance program that we offer at the hospital. Um, some choose to stay with us. Some don't. The main thing is that we get them involved in some type of a community program. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. because it's got to be uh, accessible. It's got to be something that they want to do, mm -hmm. and they can do it with uh, another individual that helps. So maintenance is a big thing. We want them to continue what we started. Mm -hmm. uh, if they stop within about two weeks, they will lose everything. It took them about 12 weeks to gain. Really? Yeah, it does. It goes away pretty quick if you just stop. Yeah. Wow. So that's why we really encourage them. You, you've got to keep doing what you're doing. Oh, wow. Now, mm -hmm. do you find um, that because they develop the relationships during the program, that afterwards that they maybe partner with someone that they've... Sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. do you Sometimes. encourage that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, it, within two weeks, they lose 12 weeks they worth could. of... Oh, it is possible. That is phenomenal. just stop what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so then if, unfortunately, let's hope, pray that no one, you know, would go through that, but if the, in the event that they did, would they go back through that program again? It is possible. Um, it depends on how the physician feels about it, if he wants to make that referral. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, it also depends, too, on their insurance. Some insurances mm -hmm. will not yeah. pay for another round unless right. there is what we call a qualifying event. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, what is, the, what is the qualifying event for... You, Dana? Um, for us in pulmonary rehab, it's just a chronic lung disease. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, She's going to talk more about qualifying events for cardiac rehab, but just any type of lung disease, we, can get, you, we can get you into pulmonary rehab. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And for you, Donna? Well, the list is bigger for the pulmonary patient. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's much larger. Uh -huh. uh, we typically um, are down to about six diagnoses, such okay. as you've had a heart attack, you've had bypass surgery, you've had stents. Maybe angina, maybe you've had a, um, uh, a valve surgery, or even a cardiac transplant, okay. and, um, and then the variations on that. So the list isn't quite as large for us, <laughs> but uh, just as important. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you said that both programs you have to be referred by a physician. Yes. And uh, and how how do you promote your program or the the, the physicians? 
um, pretty much just do the recommendations. Do the that. physicians do the recommendations. We've been around for quite some time now, mm -hmm. so uh, most of the physicians in the community are certainly aware of, of their program and do make the recommendations. We have um, certain groups of physicians that it's, it's mandatory with their mm -hmm. patients almost. They want them to go through the program. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, again, it is a commitment, so 